In addition to Airborne's long-running Airborne Innovation Preview Series from Oshkosh and the Aircraft Electronic Association, ANN is pleased to announce that the magic will continue in 2017 with the sun and fun flying. With dozens of exciting and innovative news announcements scheduled for next year, ANN will be on site 24-7 to bring you all the news from the Aviation World Spring Kickoff. Sun and Fun 2017 will be big. Featuring the return of the United States Navy Blue Angels, tentative demos for the Red Bull Air Races, plenty of Warbirds, spectacular air show performances, aviation job fairs, night air shows, and so much more. Be sure to check it all out at www.sun-n-fun.org. I thought I could make it. My heart was beating. I thought I was confident enough to make a safe flight. The visibility was all changing on me as I was progressing farther along in my flight. I had never been in that situation in a plane. While in a frantic mode looking for the airport, I lost my situation awareness. It was kind of a really stressful experience. It was a wake-up call. The FAA Got Weather campaign is centered around trying to get pilots educated on the various weather conditions that, that may be thrown at them by Mother Nature. And that's really what pilot training system is trying to accomplish. The FAA funded my research to solve problems with pilots flying in a bad weather and getting themselves killed. As a flight instructor, I've come to know that pilots are trained in one set of weather, which is generally really good, but the day they get their license, they're allowed to operate legally in weather they've never experienced before. Weather is one of the biggest traps in aviation. As commander of 19th Air Force, I was able to follow the training process from start to finish. And if you can use simulation correctly, you can build experience in pilots that uh, allows them to sense when they're getting in over their heads. The weather components of simulation are grossly underdeveloped, so we produced Climate Drive to fill in those technological gaps. Climate Drive is a valuable add-on to Microsoft Flight Simulator for current pilots and anybody who wants to be a pilot because you get an actual weather briefing and you have to go through a few pages of weather briefing information, current weather, forecasts, even radar available, and learn to interpret that to go ahead and make better decisions for your flight. You don't get that with a standard flight simulator. Current weather simulation requires a user to go in and push buttons to set static weather parameters. Climate Drive automatically drives historical weather patterns so that the user doesn't even have to intervene with the technology and the weather's fluid and it changes. The importance of dynamic weather is that it teaches pilots how to use weather information resources both pre-flight and in the cockpit so that they can predict the changes in weather before they actually experience them. Simulators are used in a variety of different industries around the world now because you're allowed to do very powerful training in a low-cost environment. I see Climate Drive as one of those systems that allows pilots to develop that experience in making those decisions earlier. Earlier decisions have inevitably been the root of better safety records. Climate Drive's weather engine is so realistic that the National Transportation Safety Board now uses it to investigate weather-related flight accidents. Climate Drive, because of its weather-generating capability, I think has tremendous uh, benefits to pilots gaining more bad weather flying experience and ultimately saving lives. With Climate Drive, I can put them into a simulator, force them to act like a pilot in command, in weather that's more challenging than they'll ever experience before licensing. This allows them to develop expert level decision skills very rapidly. Simulation is actually really helpful when you're going through training, just because it allows you to be in those kind of dangerous situations without actually having any danger. And this is how it works. You download the plugin and it installs into your existing simulation software. Then you go to pilottrainingsystem.com to get an authentic weather briefing. You can get a real-time weather briefing, you can get specific historical weather briefings, or you can just tell us what type of weather you want to experience 
and Climate Drive will actually assign you a weather briefing from some historical date and time. The FAA launched an initiative around what are the biggest concerns of making pilots more proficient, uh, safer, and, and the number one item was the understanding of the environment, which is weather. New pilots can use Climate Drive to experience conditions that they'll never experience before licensing. Seasoned pilots can turn up the power on Climate Drive and experience more radical weather conditions to practice flying in conditions that would be unsafe in a real airplane. It injects a healthy fear in pilots and it proves to them that things could have gone wrong in real life the way they did in the simulator. I know that Climate Drive made me a better, safer pilot. Winging it was, uh, was framed around Brittany's journey to Oshkosh, right? It was, she's learning all these new and interesting things in the field, and each one of those stops has spawned a scenario. So pilots that are visiting AirVenture and going to the Pilot Proficiency Center can experience a lot of the things that Brittany experienced. My favorite experience on Winging It was definitely flying upside down with Michael Goulian. Um, the moment we turned upside down, I mean, I couldn't even like contain it. I think I just let out like the best laugh ever because it was just Stop such a neat down. feeling. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Oh my gosh, so cool. <laughs> I think the, the most interesting was the Aspen Aerospace Alliance. They use airplanes to introduce science, math, technology, STEM, education. Um, and so you have kids that come out of that program, they want to be engineers, they want to be scientists, some of them want to be pilots. If, if they're interested and they pursue it and they're willing to put in the time and effort, they can graduate high school with a commercial multi. Everything is tied to applied math and science. We didn't get to load an approach until like 20 nautical miles out. It's such a unique educational opportunity for kids. The cool thing about what we do here is that as you go through the ground school, as you learn to use this E6B, as you learn to do the calculations that our kids are doing right now here even in this flight challenge, mm -hmm. that's really the opportunity for them to apply what they learn right. in these math and science classes. Getting in the medevac sim, it's so tight and confined and then the gurney's there and you have the sim guy sitting there who's blinking at you and you can feel the helicopter moving uh, while trying to give him CPR, while trying to uh, talk about vitals, all of that was like everything going crazy in my head and I, I, I wasn't really sure what was going on half of the time. I think my favorite episode was the mountain flying episode. The sort of unique things you gotta think about when you're flying in the mountains, things like what, what do those mountains do to weather and uh, how does that change the way you need to think about flight planning and your go and no-go decisions uh, in that area? Um, that, that was very, very interesting to me. You see how it's hollow in the middle? Uh, it's ragged everywhere. Uh, those are the ones you do not, those are the ones you absolutely avoid like the plague. Yeah. In Camarillo, when we did emergency procedures training, I didn't know that uh, Michael Phillips wasn't gonna be in the sim with me. Every episode before that, an instructor's with you. So that was that was just an amazing experience because I really felt like the learning and the actions that I was making and everything that was happening was all me. It was crazy, it was so impactful. Well, I hope that pilots can see a winging an episode and get exposed to a, a, a different kind of flying or reminded of the, the reasons that they started flying in the first place um, and hopefully it'll put them back in the cockpit, get them excited again about aviation and maybe open their eyes to the idea that um, they can use simulators to augment their proficiency, add some variety, add some, add some interest back into their flying. Well, Redbird has always been a company that has tried to think outside the box, innovate on a lot of different fronts. 
winging it was a way for us to sort of think about how do we, how are we attracting new pilots? How are we bringing new pilots in? But also how are we retaining pilots or how are we bringing pilots maybe that have uh, fallen off back into, into the aviation industry? You know, we could have just put a camera up and just done video about, well, these are the different things you can do with, uh, with aviation, but it's not going to entertain people. And if we're not entertaining people, then you don't have their attention. If you don't have their attention, you can't educate them. Sporties will be displaying three innovations at AirVenture 2016, each one designed to make flying safer, easier, and more fun. Sporties all-new Takeoff app delivers fresh aviation content to your iPad or iPhone every day and allows you to customize topics to match your preferences. It's a fun and easy way to keep your flying skills sharp, perfect for new student pilots and experienced IFR pros alike. Takeoff includes engaging video tips, thought-provoking articles, popular aviation podcasts, stunning photos, and breaking news. More than just a way to organize content, the app offers a curated selection of tips for the active pilot. You'll learn from some of the best aviation educators, including Jason Miller from The Finer Points of Flying, meteorologist Scott Dimmick, and Sporty's own Rob Ryder. Get started for free or upgrade to Takeoff Pro for just $9.99 a month and get access to exclusive content. Visit sporties.com slash takeoff. Traveling in a GA airplane can be one of the most exciting and useful benefits of your pilot certificate. But unexpected mechanical breakdowns can quickly ruin a trip, especially if you're far from home and it's late at night or on a Sunday. After all, there's no AAA for airplanes, is there? Well, now there is. Sporty's Breakdown Assistance Program, in cooperation with experts at Savvy Aircraft Maintenance Management, is your 24-7 partner when things go wrong with your airplane away from home. With a single phone call to our toll-free hotline, you'll get immediate access to Mike Bush's team of knowledgeable and seasoned a and IA mechanics. An expert will respond anytime, day or night, usually within 15 minutes. They will assist in troubleshooting your problem and help determine whether your aircraft is safe to fly home. If it's not, they will identify nearby shops and mechanics that can help, based on Savvy's extensive database and experience. In other words, a mechanic you can trust. But that's not all. Your Savvy expert will recommend needed repairs, obtain cost estimates, and provide oversight of the service facility until the work is completed. They'll even review maintenance records and invoices at completion, so you know you're getting a fair deal. Sporty's Breakdown Assistance Program is affordable and easy to use. Just keep your membership card in your airplane and know you're covered 24-7. For complete details and how to enroll, see sporties.com slash BAP. Sporty's innovative new online flight instructor refresher course satisfies the requirements to renew your CFI and will vastly improve your teaching skills. Sporty's eFERC is delivered in a convenient online format, universally accessible for PC, Mac, and mobile devices, including iPad and Android platforms. There's no software to install. Simply log in anywhere you have an internet connection and begin your training. Sporty's EFERC contains 17 lessons broken down into learning modules for ease of study. More than just a basic review of regulations, this interactive course includes real-world topics like understanding ADSB, security-related airspace, how to teach a culture of safety, sport pilot techniques, and how to teach ATC communications. Included with many lesson modules is Sporty's award-winning video content, complete with 3D animations and graphics. Video-based learning helps to further explain complex topics in an effective and entertaining format. Sporty's eFERC is just $99.
Try a demo today at sporties.com slash FERC. To learn more about any of these new products, visit Sporties Tent Outside Hangar B or go to sporties.com. Trig Avionics. More pilots are realizing the benefits of Trig. We make innovative certified avionics that are easier to install and operate. Backed with the best support and warranty in the business. Contact your approved Trig dealer now. www.trig-avionics.com Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Bahamas are known for sun, sand, and above all, the special treatment. Come April 2017, however, we're continuing our legacy of innovative adventures by hosting our second annual Grand Bahama Island Air Show. That's right! During our three-day Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival event at Taino Beach on Grand Bahama Island, we'll be rolling out the red carpet for the aeronautic acrobats. Featured performers will include Brian Norris, Norris Aeroworks, Jeff Shetterly, Break Even Aircraft Resourcing, Gene McNeely, Super T6 Texan, John Black, J&J Arrow, Paul Shilton, Eagle Air Show, and Keith Walter and Patrick Fortune, The Shooters. The Bahamas Ministry of Tourism has partnered with the executive team of Sun and Fun to bring this monumental air show to the Bahamas. And with an event designed to coincide with the country's uber successful cultural festival, you can surely expect a big splash. Big stunts, massive waves, and cultural galas are a recipe for unparalleled excitement. And we're extending the invitation to you. Yes, you. We're welcoming home-built, experimental, and light sport aircraft of every shape and size to visit us as well. No prior approval necessary. If you're airworthy in the US, you're cleared for flight. We've also streamlined the certification screening process for light sport aircraft operators from the US and Canada. Once your aircraft, whether vintage or amateur built, meets the certified FAA and Bahamas Civil Aviation Department's airworthiness standards and safe navigational regulations, you're accepted. That's right, April 2017, you and your aircraft soaring over the beautiful Bahamian waters. Rest assured that the Bahamas, whose reputation is built on hospitality, won't let you go it alone. The Bahamas' Fly-In Ambassador program boasts skilled and seasoned U.S. pilots who are well-versed in the country's geographic and aviation landscape. 
These concierges of the sky will safely lead groups of pilots and aviation enthusiasts into the Bahamas. We're also future-proofing this endeavor by focusing on the next generation of aeronautical industrialists. Young Eagles, a venture with the Florida EAA chapter, will introduce young Bahamian enthusiasts to the aviation discipline. At the Grand Bahama Island Air Show, we plan to include the youth, encouraging them to observe the workings of the event, from airport operations to show aircraft assembly. Just in case you missed it, here are the details. April 14 to 15, 2017, Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival. April 13 to 16, 2017, Grand Bahama Island Air Show, with the main event taking place on Saturday, April 15, 2017, with coordinated performances. Visit Bahamas.com for more information. Grand Bahama Island Air Show, April 2017. See you there. Another hoy is about post-flight debriefs. We have an exciting announcement to make. Cladahoy is going international. Obviously we already have customers all around the globe. Check out this map. What I mean by Cladahoy is going international is that we are in the midst of a big development effort to provide worldwide debriefing capabilities on par with those available today in the United States. We are now in the latest stages of testing, and here are some examples of flights flown by our beta users. For example, navigating Europe's complex VFR airspaces calls for a serious debrief. Sharing the breathtaking flights over the Swiss Alps with friends? Priceless. The pilot is Claudio. We are very happy to announce partnering with Skyvector to provide high-quality, worldwide VFR and IFR charts. Skyvector charts are popular among pilots both in the US and worldwide because of their accuracy, clarity and performance. Down under, near Sydney, Australia, George is practicing IFR airway navigation as well as shooting some approaches. Laying the flight over the new i5 charts is a prime debriefing aid. Air transportation is critically important in the remote areas of Africa. This is a debrief of a commercial i5 flight flown by Marco. There is no better way of debriefing and sharing a flight with friends than to embed a video in Cladahoy's debrief. Sergio's VFR flight in the Canary Islands is a great example. At Phase 1, which we demo at Air Venture 2016, we will provide VFR and IFR charts as well as worldwide waypoints and navids. This will significantly enhance the power of Cladahoy debriefs for our international pilots. We have many users in Canada, our beautiful northern neighbor. Some, like Paul, are lucky enough to fly seaplanes between Canada's lakes. For some time, US IFR pilots have been debriefing their instrument approaches with Cloud Ahoy. In phase two, we will add this capability worldwide. Next, we will add wind data for every point along any international flight like we do now for US flights. This is a debrief of a training IFR flight near Copenhagen. Jürgen and his student are shooting the ILS approach to runway 17 at Malmo. Our goal is clear. Provide worldwide debriefing capabilities on par with those available today in the United States. Worldwide charts from Skyvector and worldwide waypoints and navigates are now in beta and will be released very soon. Approaches on wind will follow. We at Cloud Ahoy continue our commitment to pilots everywhere to provide prime debriefing tools to increase safety 
proficiency and fun. Squawk App is designed to replace paper squawk forms with an easy to use mobile application to capture and distribute the information digitally. My name is Tom Prokowski, co-founder of the GoCap software. I'm a pilot who has written up many squawks to record aircraft time on slips of paper. My experience prompted the idea for the Squawk App. Let's take a look at how easy it is for a pilot to enter a squawk. We'll start our demo on the home screen. This is where we keep track of all previously entered reports or reports that have not been sent. To create a report, we'll tap the pencil icon, which will bring up the report screen. The first thing you'll notice is the date and Zulu time is automatically filled in, but you can also change them. Next, we'll tap on an aircraft, choose the aircraft we are flying that day. Enter the number of landings, and hit on the plus and minus buttons. We then tap on out, and our number keypad pops up, where we can enter our out hop time. We tap on the arrow, and we can enter our in time. We tap the arrow again, and now we are in a free text field. Our keyboard pops up. Here we enter whatever we want. For example, this field asks where when occurred. So we'll type in on takeoff. Hit the arrow, and now we can type in what occurred. Here we'll type in radio broke. Notice we can use the auto replace suggestions to speed up typing. Finally, we hit the arrow to go to our last field, troubleshooting steps and we'll enter, try to fix it. Now we're done, so we tap done. At the bottom of the screen, we have two options, send or save. Right now, we're gonna hit send to save the report and send it off to the server. The app takes us back to the home screen and we can see that it has been sent. Each squawk generates an email that goes to the pilot and operations and maintenance team, creating a digital record. Reports can also be viewed online using the Squawk Service Portal. The portal also allows you to configure your distribution list and aircraft. 
let's do another demo, and this time I'll show you how easy it is to record your time on every flight. When you get in the aircraft, type in the out hop. Tap done, then tap save. When you finish the flight, find the report on the home screen. Notice it says incomplete. To reopen it, tap on it, enter the number of landings, then the in hops time, tap done. Now tap send, and the report is saved and sent to the server. Isn't that convenient? The Squawk app supports Hobbs, TAC, and UI or block time. Whether you like your text big or small, the Squawk app is designed to be just right for you. We support dynamic text, which allows you to pick the text size that suits your taste. The Squawk app also works offline and will save all your squawks until you get back on the ground and reconnect to the network. To get started using the Squawk app, visit thesquawkapp.com to register your aircraft. The Squawk app is a free service for single aircraft operators. Then visit the Apple App Store and download the app. An Android version will be available soon. For multi-aircraft operators, the Squawk app is available as a per-aircraft subscription starting at $99 per year. The app is free to download for all your users. Stop writing notes. The Squawk app makes reporting aircraft hours and discrepancies quick and easy. Try it today. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. We are the Aero News Network. With over 250,000 stories, 7,000 Aero podcasts, 3,000 Aero TV programs, 700 episodes of Airborne, and so much more. It's a record of performance unequaled in the Aeroverse, and there's far more to come. Aero News, committed to innovate, inform, inspire, and disrupt the aviation world. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Martin Product Design LLC is a product design company from Madison, Wisconsin. As pilots and engineers, we are constantly thinking about products to fill unmet needs in the aviation market. We are excited to be a part of the air venture and fly market. We will be selling our first product and have other products in development we want to show you and talk to you about. We will be featuring three cord science reels. All reels feature MPD patented no tangles design. The first is the free reel, on sale at the fly market. The second is a new design for a ground static reel. The third is an innovative wall mounted reel. Lastly, we have a mobile hangar system in development. Our first product introduction is the free reel. Here is a brief demonstration of the capabilities of the free reel. See how easily the free reel unwinds as you walk to your work site. Winding the free reel is just as easy. Walk the reel back to its power source when you're finished.
grinding by hand is much more difficult and frustrating by comparison. There is finally an answer for dealing with all your difficult chords and hoses. The free reel is perfect for hanger use. The free reel has many features that make it the best portable reel available today. Our second reel utilizes Martin Product Design's patented technology for a new approach to a ground static reel. Conventional ground static reels require a lot of maintenance and have many failure points. The winding spring can malfunction, leaving the grounding clip unwound. The Cord Science grounding reel has many advantages over conventional reels. It requires little maintenance and provides a better user experience. Our last Cord Science reel is a new design for wall-mounted reels. Conventional reels have limitations that can frustrate the user. The Cord Science reel provides greater flexibility and makes your work easier and more efficient. You have two options to store your airplane at an airport. Store it in a hangar or store it on the ramp. Storing your plane in a hangar is safer, but can be too expensive and may not be available. Airplane owners often store their planes on the ramp. Doing so leaves planes exposed to a variety of harsh conditions. Exposure to the sun, hail, and storms can inflict significant damage to a plane. We are developing the Aeroport System, your solution to the plane storage problem. With the Aeroport System, you can say hail no to extreme weather damage to your plane. The Aeroport is a mobile hangar made of tension fabric. It allows you to safely store your plane on the ramp, features a small surface area, a simple main door, and a small footprint on the ground. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you at the Air Venture. My name is Grant Delgatti. I'm an industrial designer, an inventor, and an entrepreneur. My name is Sven Etzelsberger. I'm an automotive engineer with a background in designing sports cars at Porsche in Germany. So together we are the team behind the design of the Erbi. I came up with the concept for the Erbi about three years ago when I was looking at this growing trend worldwide for people that are taking public transportation to get into city centers but they needed some kind of a last mile vehicle solution. We placed a lot of importance on ease of use. We didn't stop until the solution that allowed for the Irby to be folded and unfolded in one single move. There's a lot going on in that mechanism, but everything happens in the background and is not intrusive to the user experience. As much as I hate to admit it to my German colleague here, I'm a big believer in the German Bauhaus design movement and Essentially, form follows function. What I wanted to create with the Irby was something that was both beautiful and timeless in the design, but also very, very minimalist in its functionality. We use design principles from the world of supercars. The structural components are made out of high-strength aluminum alloys and carbon fiber. And then we went a step further 
and removed all the material that is not necessary to transfer the forces. This is why you see so many holes in the Urbi and it makes for a really lightweight and strong design. We then validated the design by giving an Urbi to an independent test laboratory that strapped it to a test rig and pushed and pulled it a hundred thousand times to simulate a life of use and abuse. We knew we had a good design on our hands when it came out of this test without any signs of structural failure or fatigue. One of the most important things for us at Urbi is that we produce a product that is of the highest level quality and craftsmanship. We thought about different ways to, to go about producing the product and we found that the best way for us to achieve this was to build it right here in Southern California. The commitment to quality goes through all the stages of design, engineering and production and in the end every Urbi undergoes a 40 point quality inspection before it gets shipped to customers. Good afternoon. This is Nick with My Go Flight. Thanks for visiting with us. Today I'd like to speak to you about four of our latest products. First, our PLC Lite. Comes with a strap. Second, the My Go Flight water bottle. Third, these are two new products for the beach aircraft. One is our collar mount and the other is the shaft mount. I wanted to talk to you about the PLC Lite. The PLC light is made of uh, very, very high quality materials. This happens to be sailcloth. The sailcloth helps it become very, very water resistant, very tough, and it just feels great. You have an ergonomic handle. You can open this up. This is what I call my office. This is where I can put pens, pencils, GPS's, a secure pocket for a, a passport or other important documents. Put your uh, lamps or light, lights right here. It has a pocket here so that you can embroider the small space here for further customization. You flip it around. Here's where you can put your headset. There's a small pocket here so that you can put your iPad, paper. Nice spot for your newspaper. This particular pocket goes over your handle of your luggage that you might be carrying. And it comes with this very nice uh, shoulder strap. Okay, welcome back. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the MyGo Flight water bottle. The MyGo Flight water bottle is a great piece of equipment in that it keeps you hydrated. It's very ergonomic, it's double wall lined, stainless steel. And why is double wall lined important? Because many, many parts of the country have high humidity and you will get condensation and it will get your hand wet, it will get your paper charts wet, it will get your iPad wet. So that's why we protect against that. This is a very easy opening top, has a very nice silicone seal. Pop it right into your flight bag. And it's also great for the environment since we won't be putting in more plastic bottles into the world. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about two great mounts for the beach aircraft. We've come up with the center collar mount and also the shaft mount. As you'll see, these mounts are very elegant in design, they're very sleek, and they work with your existing equipment. This simply has two Allen wrench screws that will drive themselves into either sides of these collars and secure them to the shaft on the, the uh, beach craft. This one will go over the top of an existing collar that already exists and we substitute two different uh, longer screws so that it will um, close the gap on that and make it look very very nice. As you know the flex arm is infinitely adjustable I can basically get it anywhere where you would like it. I can lock it into place with just one key. 
and I can use any of the my GoFlight cases, like the sport case, which just locks in and then allows you to turn it and then allows you just a quick release with these two buttons. Hi, my name is David St. George. I'm a designated pilot examiner with the FAA and a 141 chief instructor, and I've been doing this a long time. I have over 3,000 flight evaluations, and I created the SAFE Toolkit to give CFIs resources in their pocket to do their job more professionally. Okay, so let's take a quick tour of the SAFE app. You can see it's on the bottom there next to Wemo uh, Tools, uh, just up from the Fly East Hill. So tapping that, it opens a splash screen that tells you about SAFE. I'm going to go to the upper left to the hamburger menu and tap that, and you can see About Safe, Join Safe, Safe at Sun and Fun, probably uh, the most germane for this. And you can see that's got a listing of the seminars. It's got How to Find Our Booth there, number 59. Um, if you tap here, it'll load up a larger PDF version of that map uh, supplied by the Sun and Fun people, so you can navigate that, find your way around the expo. Uh, backing up out of that hit the hamburger menu for the CFI specifically you could see required experience and what that does is covers the whole aeronautical experience checklist if I hit the nav button there it brings me to a little nav menu and I'll hit commercial and you can see here's all the requirements for a commercial single engine rating and what I've done is I put in highlights uh, things that are often forgotten that I see as a pilot examiner so as I back up here uh, go to the hamburger menu uh, it'll bring up endorsements so these are the endorsements that you would put into a student's log you can see it's updated through February 28th this year the new 6165 Foxtrot edition so I tap on that opens it up um, and it's got all the endorsements it's got the 6139 meta endorsements so I'm gonna hit nav and these are all the endorsements you might put into a student pilots book the other thing is I've highlighted again things that people often forget on tests. Uh, coming down to the SAFE blog, I'll tap on that and it'll bring up the most recent article on the blog which is the myth of multitasking and good suggestions very germane to the flight instruction community. For uh, AIM, PTS, this has all the PTSs for all the ratings and the electronic FAR AIM is in there up to the minute uh, right off the web. Aviation Weather is probably one of the best. It's a very good mobile site, and probably my favorite in there is number five. You can see it's already been tapped. Um, but it brings up a map of the United States, which you can navigate, zoom. Um, and the part of that that's not obvious is you can see upstate New York. If I touch that, what it does is it loads up the area forecast discussions. And this is an excellent place to bring a student to get some detail on the weather. And you can see it has the aviation-specific uh, weather in there, too. So backing up, uh, going back to the hamburger menu here, uh, you can see that we've got SkyVector in here, Twitter, Facebook for the uh, SAFE community, and very important down the bottom, text me. If you hit that, it'll come directly to me, a little text, and please tell me what you'd like to see in the app, what you'd like me to improve, and what you think about it. Thanks so much for watching.